Welcome to Animals Wow TV. Today, we're going to take a look at the clash of the Grand Canyon's Desert Bighorn Rams. Stay until the end and see a spectacular sight of two fully grown rams battling it out for herd dominance. Besides the magnificent view, one of the highlights of a trip to the Grand Canyon is spotting the elusive Desert Bighorn Sheep. As their name suggests, Desert Bighorn Sheep are just like camels. They thrive in desert climates and can go for long periods without drinking water. Long ago, almost all the mountain ranges of the southwest U.S. had large populations of bighorn sheep. Some Native American tribes considered these animals almost like domesticated sheep, hunting and eating them. But due to overhunting, loss of food, and water in their natural habitats, mining operations, and other man-made structures, the population of these animals began to dwindle. Conservation efforts stabilized in number, but their population remains low. Wild sheep. Just like ordinary sheep, the adult females are called eos, and the babies are called lambs, and the matured males are called rams. Mature females have horns, but these are significantly smaller than those that grow on the heads of rams. These sheep love to zigzag along rocky ledges, which makes the Grand Canyon an ideal habitat with its mix of rocky and steep terrain and wide open spaces. The sheep's sharp-edged cloven hooves can cling to steep ledges that are as narrow as two inches wide. And if you happen to visit the Grand Canyon during fall, then you're in for a special treat because it's during this season when sparks fly among the ramps, quite literally. Before we continue with our story, please take a moment to like and subscribe to our channel. Remember to hit the notification button for regular updates of our informative animal videos. Legends of the Rams Mature rams have triple thick skulls. By the time they're eight years old, their horns achieve a full coil that is as thick as 30 inches and weighs as much as 30 pounds. As to their bodies, big rams can exceed 300 pounds. They may be herbivores, preferring leaves, grass, and cacti, but just by looking at the majestic horns of these rams, you'll know right away that they are built for violent and very long battles for the right to lead a herd and breed with mature iwas. You don't want to mess with these rams when they're in heat during the cold months of fall. These animals usually live in herds of about 10 sheep, but those that live along the Grand Canyon gather into bigger herds. Some herds have as many as over 600 sheep. For most the whole year, these herds are made up of adult females, lambs, and immature males. The mature rams live separately from the rest of the herd for almost the whole year. They migrate as far as 20 miles away from the main herd and live peacefully in their own bachelor herds. Rams that have matured roam even further to try their luck in mating with eels from other herds. Because when November approaches, testosterone levels climb sky high, and all bets are off as the rams join the main herd and begin the ritual of headbutting for the right to be the alpha ram of the group and mate with the female sheep. During the pre-rut season, which spans from mid-October to mid-November, the rams settle their rivalries in a non-violent way. Just like ancient warriors, they have a ritual to determine the hierarchy within their herd. When November is in full swing and two rams can't come to an agreement, the inevitable clash happens. Most of the time, a ram that's just matured would challenge an older ram. He will start with some low blow body kicks and tongue flicks. Then an initial thrust is thrown out as a test. The young one delivers more kicks and tongue flicks to taunt his opponent. The older ram walks away as if he's not interested but his body's posture says otherwise. If he were human, he would be flexing his muscles and cracking his knuckles. Then he turns around, propels his whole body using hind legs and charges. And the rams can charge at speeds of up to 35 to 40 miles per hour. The sound from the horns colliding can be heard several miles away. The force of the impact could kill a human, but these rams are made of tougher parts. They don't lock horns. When they butted heads, they rear up and turn around for another charge. They do this over and over again until one of them submits to the victor. A ram fight can last for hours. These two fought for six hours. Look at this one's tongue hanging out because of exhaustion. They could barely walk to the small creek nearby. The winner of the battle may not be apparent to humans, but these two know, and they will follow the rules of the battle, at least during the fall season. The rival of this fight is lucky. Even though they're built for these battles, some ram fights only stop when one of them is dead. There you have it, the clash of the Grand Canyon's bighorns. Have you seen these magnificent rams in action in real life? 
share your stories in the comment section below. And don't forget to click the like button and to subscribe to our channel. While you're here, you might want to check out our story about a man who discovered a GPS tracker inside a dead eagle.